Hello everyone, it's a whole new week and I have new tarot cards for you. My primary guide Morgan drew these for us. And tonight I'm using my Mystic Dreamer of Tarot and I'm rocking it old school. This is one of my oldest and most favorite Oracle decks, the Wisdom of Avalon. So let's see what we got, ready? All right. First up is the Three of Wands. So Wands is the element of fire. This is taking action and getting things done. And the three means you have decided on your action plan. You've decided what you're gonna do. Today you have to, or this week, <laughs> you have to choose a direction and go. Go for it. And you can see that, you know, the water's nice, the day is nice. So don't be afraid, don't procrastinate. Just, just go for it. Move forward on your action plan. All right. Oh, and then we got judgment. So judgment is major arcana and it has nothing to do with you being judged. You are not in trouble. Um, the judgment card is actually a really powerful, cool card because it always has Archangel Gabriel blowing his horn and you can see the hands reaching up. So this week you are going to find your calling. And sometimes people hear that and they're like, well, I'm already, you know, like I'll throw out, I'm already an author. Um, but the thing is when the judgment judgment card comes up, you can have way more than one calling during your life and you are going to find something this week that really resonates with you and makes you go, mm, this is right where I'm supposed to be. It feels great. So pay attention, be present so that you don't miss it. You might actually find it when you actually, when you finally take action on your plan, you might realize this is my calling. This is what I was meant to do. Exciting. Okay. Oh, and the third card is the moon. The moon, also major arcana, and the moon is always, it's a dreamy card. It's about dreaming bigger, it's about vivid dreams, all that kind of thing. Usually you'll see things like, here's a wolf and a lobster. Um, <laughs> the moon card never really makes sense, but this card is about dreaming really big. Don't take action on it till you look at it in the sunshine because everything's more beautiful in the moonlight, but dream big. And really, gosh, these go together, don't they? So this week you're gonna take action, you're gonna find your calling, and then you're gonna dream big, right? No limits. I was just talking about that last week in the webinar. Thank you so much to everyone who um, signed up for the free manifesting webinar. It went super great and I'm so excited and I hope you're pumped. If you missed it, next month I'll be doing another four day manifesting challenge. So keep your eye out so that you don't miss out. All right, and now for our Oracle card from the Wisdom of Avalon. Nice, we got the dog. So in this deck, the dog is all about loyalty and finding people who love you unconditionally. So this week, when you are taking action and you're looking for someone to help you, be sure that you surround yourself with people who love you unconditionally, who are loyal to you, you know, no fair weather friends, no, <laughs> no trying to find somebody that you think is gonna help you up the ladder. You need somebody who knows you, loves you, and will support you through this new adventure that you're getting into. Um, it also says sincerity. So definitely look for those people in your life who are loyal and love you unconditionally. That's what you're gonna need when you make this new big change. All right, so to wrap up, we got the three of wands. Take action on your whatever project you've been planning. This is the week, take action, get it done. No more procrastinating. And once you do, I bet you are going to find your true calling. You're going to really feel like you are right where you're supposed to be. It's gonna be great. And finally, dream very big. No limits on your goals, right? You don't have to take action on every single one right away, but dream really big right now for this new um, activity that you're doing. And finally, Surround yourself with people who are going to support your growth. Don't surround yourself with people who belittle you or tell you your dream is too big or tell you, you know, that you've tried it before. Surround yourself by people who are sincere and love you unconditionally and will be very loyal to you through this changing process that you're going through, okay? All right, so don't forget to subscribe 
to the channel so you never miss another reading. Also hit that like button so that YouTube shows the reading more. <laughs> also down below, you'll find my coffee link if you would like to give me a tip. It keeps me in my Starbucks tea and makes my day. Um, <laughs> so that link is down there. If you ever need a private 30 minute reading, I do them through Zoom. So I read for people all over the world and I would love to read for you. So that link is down below to go ahead and book your spot for that. Also, at the beginning when I was talking about that webinar, if you're interested in manifesting, I do manifesting coaching and my clients manifest giant things. <laughs> so um, if you are ready to take a step to do that, you can find more information below. And you can also always join the Metaphysical Meetup group, which is totally free and tons of information if you're interested in woo-woo things, all right? I hope you guys have a terrific week. I'm sending you many blessings and I'll see you next week. Bye.